This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to grow your business online. What's up, dude? Today, with the help of my good friend, Albert, we are gonna Wellingtonize some of the most famous barbecue in all of Texas. This, my friends, is the most glorious and epic, flaky, crusty, golden brown Texas Wellington. Woo! Woo! And as always, Shut up! To start our day, we had to go and get some proper Texas barbecue, and what better place to do it than Terry Black's? I didn't want anyone to know, but Albert actually told the guy cutting up our ribs we were gonna make a Wellington out of it. And I don't think he liked our idea very much, and rightfully so, because these beef ribs are absolutely perfect, so why change anything? Having said that, though, I'm pretty sure when we're done with this Texas Wellington, it might be better than a regular beef Wellington. After Albert absolutely destroyed my intro, it was time to begin by making some green crepes. Give me some. Okay, you take the parsley. And to bring out this incredible green color, we start by blanching and boiling water for 45 seconds. Before shocking it in ice water to lock in the color, this process is called blanching and you can do it with anything green to make it look, well, really green. We then squeezed out or squoze, uh, squoze a word, I don't know, as much water as possible from these herbs before combining with whole milk into a blender and blending. <laughs> In a bowl, add some all-purpose flour followed by some castor sugar and whole eggs that are just beaten up a little bit. Begin whisking the eggs, which will start to pull in the flour from the outside. Then little by little, start working your milk into this mixture. Oh, I gotta really work it. Albert, take over. Albert, 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 Albert. And lastly, a little bit of the cream going in and we need to let this sit for one hour before adding the last ingredient, which is gonna be butter. Covered with a damn towel. Next up, we're gonna be making mushroom duck cell, which is one of the main components of our Texas Wellington. Wait, 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 Albert. This isn't enough knives. Wait, 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 wait. This is still not enough knives, man. I think, I think. <laughs> After a good bit of peaceful chopping, the mushrooms were done and it was time to move on to the shallot, which we're gonna throw down a brunoise upon, which is a very, very fine dice. And I'll have to say, Albert's knife skills were a lot better than I thought. This guy's, this guy's got some stuff. Time to cook. Start by setting a large pan down over medium heat. Watch out. Ooh! <laughs> I'm adding a combination of olive oil and some unsalted butter. Once that's all hot and melted, add in your mushrooms, followed by your shallots, a little bit of fresh stripped thyme and salt and pepper. Master Sergeant Gilbert reporting for duty. Give me everything you got, Albert. Fire away, man. After 12 minutes of cooking, you can see the mushrooms have released all their water and completely dried out. At this point, you can get it out onto a sheet pan to cool down. And to increase airflow and help it cool down faster, just draw a couple lines through it like this. My crepes have been sitting for one hour. Now it's time to add some melted, unsalted butter and they're absolutely ready to cook. And you wanna drop these into a super lightly oiled, medium high heat non-stick pan while constantly rolling it around as you pour like this. And as they hit the pan and heat up, you'll see the most amazing color come out. What do you think of my crepe? You like this? He, <laughs> he's not impressed. He I'm just gonna give it a flip. Woo, that, that Woo! is perfect. Man. That only required 30 seconds of cooking before we did the flip. We'll cook it for a similar amount of time on the other side and it is done done. Now she comes. Oh man, that looks pretty dope. If you have been looking for a place to build your website, look no further than Squarespace. With features like scheduling where you can send your clients automatic email reminders. You can also sync scheduling with personal or business calendars, which is really cool. And if you're into e-commerce, Squarespace definitely has you covered. Sell products, services, or subscriptions through your website with easy checkout and secure payment. They have a robust internal search engine that provides your visitors with accurate search results. These are just some of the amazing products and features that Squarespace has, but there is so much more whatever your needs may be they have you covered and when you're ready to blast off go to squarespace.com slash that dude can cook to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain needless to say Squarespace is killing it now back to the video now before we proceed I, I apologize to the gods of barbecue this is wrong I know this is wrong this is an experiment okay we're gonna tell you if it's good or not don't do this don't do this, don't recreate this. But if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right. So we're starting with Coleman's English mustard. This is the kind of mustard you wanna use when you make a beef wellington. We will then lay out a bunch of slices of our prosciutto in preparation for the mushroom ducks L. Six pieces seemed like the appropriate amount to house all of our mushrooms, which we began to lay down and spread out evenly. Oh. 
It's time to start rolling up our little monster in preparation for the next layer of this beast. I like to just work it a little bit with my hands to make sure I'm getting out any kind of air pockets. Cut off any excess plastic that you won't need and put this back into the fridge to chill for at least one hour. This is gonna make the whole process much easier. Coming full circle, no pun intended, we're now gonna be rolling it in the green crepes. And same exact process as before here, just make sure that everything is nice and tight. At this point, Albert and I were pretty happy with how this thing looks. We just need to put it back in the fridge now to chill for a final half an hour. For the final layer of our Texas Wellington, we're starting with 100% all butter puff pastry and I'm just rolling it out to make it a little bit thinner. I'll then measure out exactly how big my puff pastry needs to be and make one final slice. Before rolling, we need to lightly brush our puff pastry with egg wash and it was finally time to get our monster completely wrapped up. I'm bringing up either edge of the puff pastry. We will then take the time to make sure it's sealed really nicely around where that bone is at the bottom just so it looks pretty cool. And the last thing we need to do is get it onto a sheet pan lined with parchment paper and brush the whole thing nicely again with egg wash. As well as some nice flaky finishing salt. This is just Malden salt. Allow the egg wash to dry onto the Wellington for 20 minutes before baking at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. And here it is. After a final 20 minute rest, both Albert and myself and everybody else was very, very, very hungry. However, before slicing, I need to see if that bone will pull out in a nice clean manner. After admiring our nice steamy bone, it was finally time to slice this thing in half and check it out. Upon purchasing this beef rib at Terry Black's, the guy who cut it up for us told us absolutely not to bake it because it would dry out. However, to me, it did not look dry at all, but we have to put it to the test and give this thing a taste. There's only one thing left to do, Albert. Let's eat it like a sandwich, right? Cheers. All right, Albert, choose your weapon. Albert, no, 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 wait, dude, it's safety first. My turn. In all seriousness, I wasn't exactly sure how this Texas Wellington abomination was gonna turn out. But I mean what I'm about to say, I will take this over standard beef Wellington any day. I'm sorry, just the meat inside is better than filet mignon. You know I love you when I'm out!